everyone and welcome back to another video. So this video we're going to pull upon a couple of techniques we've learned in previous videos and we're going to be using VBA to help us create a very basic calculator. So what we'll be doing is we'll be using the input box method that we looked at in a previous video to be able to gather two pieces of information or more specifically two numbers from the user and we'll be building a basic calculator that will add those two numbers together and it will then paste the result into our Excel spreadsheet. So it's going to be, yeah, so the code is going to look very familiar to what you've seen already, um, but obviously it hopefully will help tie some stuff together to show you some actual real world examples or real beneficial examples of putting the code and using it in Excel. So the first thing we need to do, well, actually we're going to do a lot as we progress along, but we'll just jump straight in and obviously talk through the code as we do it. So as always, we need to do our subroutine. So we we'll put it, call it a simple calc for obviously simple calculator. And we need to then define our two variables to start with. So we're going to have two, which would be number one and number two, or num one, num two for short. So we do dim num one as integer. And secondly, we'll do num two as integer. So we, because they're both integers, uh, and to sort of help tidy up, keep our code nice and tidy, we can code them on the same line as we've done here, rather than doing a dim num2 again on the second row. So we've defined both of our numbers as integers. So the next thing we now need to do is obviously set what value is going to be for each number. So the first one, so we've got num1 is going to be equal to input box. And for this we'll say, um, uh, tell me number one. Cool, so that first one is gonna say tell me number one, which in short basically says get, getting the user to provide the first number. And actually that's probably a better way of writing it. So just put um, first number, and then that. And then for the second one, we can then do num two is going to be equal to, again, input box, input box, and we'll do second number, question mark, close brackets. And then once we've now gathered our two pieces of information, so as the user is doing this, they'll get the first input box, they'll put a number in, they'll then, having submitted that, they'll receive a second input box to provide the second number. So the next thing we now need to do is create a third variable, what's going to be our answer. Uh, so you don't have to do this, but I just like to stick with this process because it helps, again, keep everything nice and tidy. So we'll call it calc result is equal to num1 plus number2. And then simply all we're going to do with that is we'll then go into our, into our file and we'll put, um, let's say, sheet or sheets. So we want to go into sheet1. We then want to go into the cells um, of 1, 1, and the value is going to equal, if I can find the equal sign, uh, calc underscore result. As simple as that. So again, just to step through this, we've defined both of our numbers as integers, so whole numbers, no decimal places. We're going to have a pop-up box, what will give us, obviously, the ability to store the first number. And then the second input box will then give us the ability to store a second number. Once both of those variables have been captured, uh, we can then obviously get our last result here and we'll understand or be able to then do the calculation of number one plus number two, what will be stored as calc result. And then lastly, we've defined where we want to uh, paste the value. And obviously this is defined here. So this first cell in column or cell one or row one of column one. And obviously that the value of that is then gonna equal our result. What we can just do lastly again is put another, um, go to developer tab and do an insert a button. And we'll do that. We'll obviously assign it to the simple calc subroutine. And let's just rename our button to uh, calculator. So, so what we now need to do is just simply run our code. So when we click our button, you can see we get our first input box. And as we wanted, it says first number question mark. So we can now provide a number, let's go number five. As we click okay, 
you can see that the first input box was closed and then replaced with our second. Uh, and so that first number has now been stored in our variable of num1. We've now gone to our second number here. So let's do five again and do OK. And upon doing that, you can see that five plus five is obviously 10. And that has then been stored into our cell, uh, cell one at the top here. So we've been able to just create our very simple calculator. What we can do is to, just to play around with this a bit more, so touch on a couple of extra bonus things here, is when we're actually putting this value into our cell, um, at the moment obviously it just says the number 10. What we could do is add a bit more text here uh, using the sort of the strings, and let's say we wanted to say um, the result is, and then what obviously the result is. So all we now need to do here is in quotations, we can put uh, the calculator, result is, let's do a little colon and do a quotation. So you can see we've done these two quotations, obviously telling it it's string. And I've just included the space at the end here just so there is a space between our string and the result. And then lastly, I just need to do an and symbol after our little custom bit string and the calculation just to stick it all together. So if I was to now run this again, let's do uh, this time, first number is 10 and the second number is two, and do OK. You can see that we now have a nice bit of text here what actually instructs the user what they're seeing, and obviously they know that number is obviously the result of the calculation. And it now says the calculator result is 12, which we know is 10 plus two. So for this basic calculator, we've used the plus. Uh, if we want to change it and make it either multiplication, uh, division, or subtraction, all we need to do is just change this symbol in here uh, and let's go for multiplication this time. So let's change that into a multiplication or multiplication if I can say it. So this time if we do our calculator, select calculator and we'll do five as the first number. We'll also do five as the second number. Select OK and you can now see our result has changed to 25. And again, we've still got that text in there just to show the user what they're actually seeing. Uh, because obviously we're always referencing that same cell of cell 11, one, one, uh, obviously the value is always going to override whatever the previous value was. So there you go, we've just now completed our first actual process and created a very basic calculator using Excel VBA. Uh, as we go through, there's a couple other little bits we need to go over in, in separate videos but we'll eventually look to build a dynamic and obviously more advanced calculator than this one. Uh, and we'll be doing that, let's say, in a future video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. To ensure you see that video when it does come out, because that will be a good one, uh, do ensure that you are subscribed to the channel and you've got that bell notification clicked so you're notified as soon as that and our other videos come out. If you did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to give the video a like because it's greatly appreciated by me and obviously helps that all important YouTube algorithm. And also just make sure that other people are able to see this video and learn something new if they weren't already aware of it. If you do have any questions as always, please just drop a comment below this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And lastly, thank you once again and we'll see you in the next video.